hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today guys we're going to talk about fermented rice water if you guys seen on my channel I have an old video that I did that I fermented some rice and I rinsed my hair with it it did smell bad but it worked great on my hair and I did like it and later on I learned you could boil the rice and still get the rice water and use that in your hair it did great for my hair as well but a few weeks ago I realized I haven't fermented the rice for a while to use it in my hair so I thought I'd do it again just to do it I ended up fermenting the rice for about five days guys and then I went to use it on my hair first it smelled incredibly bad <laughs> so what I did guys was I added essential oils to it I realized if you add essential oils to it especially oils like peppermint lavender tea tree I also had orange oil with essential oil which smelled pretty nice and sweet so I added that to it it killed about 90% of the smell it wasn't as bad to put it on your hair you could still smell a little bit but it wasn't as bad so if you ferment it for less days you could probably kill the entire smell with just some essential oils but the point with that guys is I realized that my hair felt so good after I did it also I had way less shedding and of course my hair looked a lot better so guys Guys, I went to pull up the difference between fermenting your rice water and not fermenting it and just boiling it because I wanted to learn it a little bit more so I wanted to find out for you guys and tell you as well there is some nice benefit to fermenting your rice so let me tell you guys what I found out so if you use rice water um, regular rice water if you just let it sit there or if you just um, soak rice water for a little bit a few hours before you use it or you boil it you should notice that you have a lot more luster in your hair um, it boosts the elasticity definitely to your hair rice water guys is of course full of carbohydrates and you know so tall that will um, repair your hair from damage and also protect it way after you and you rinse out the rice water in your hair if you have hair and scalp issues like dandruff it's one of the great things to use to help heal your scalp and protect it so moving on to fermented rice the best thing about fermented rice that I found out was that when you ferment the rice it caused the pH of the liquid to match the natural pH of your scalp it makes it slightly more acidic which means that your scalp is going to have the perfect environment for healthy strong hair the pH acidic in the rice also with the added nutrients that come from fermenting it is going to help restore the pH balance of your hair just like a couple of the other ingredients like aloe vera I use and it's nourishing those follicles to promote healthy hair growth and that of course is going to improve your overall hair condition the fermented rice water guys is full of vitamin B that helps promote the black pigment in your hair the vitamin E helps to prevent unnecessary hair loss the vitamin C helps to produce sebum which is helping to keep your scalp moisturized again keep your healthy hair growing again another great benefit to fermenting rice water is that rice water is full of amino acids for your hair it contains eight of the 18 amino acids that your hair needs so you can have healthy long hair so these are the few things I found out about fermenting the rice water comparing to just boiling the rice water or soaking the rice for a couple of hours it is up to you and your hair needs what you want to try for your hair I I definitely recommend that you guys start out with soaking the rice for a few hours then try boiling it and also fermenting it to see which one your hair thrives more on I noticed that my hair I can use boiled rice most of the time and then I can go on and use the fermented rice which I told you guys I'm going to switch back to that I'm going to boil it three times a month and then use fermented rice for the fourth time so every month I'm going to ferment it now at least once to use on my hair because I noticed especially with the summer damage that's been happening to my hair it helped me a lot to restore my hair health and it's helping it grow more because my scalp is in better condition and I'm keeping the pH balance so guys if you haven't tried rice water for your hair it's a super cheap little secret you can do to see healthy hair growth I have not tried soaking the rice yet but I want to say it's in between those two steps so if you guys have tried soaking the rice and any other tips and tricks guys you've used to use the rice water for your hair go ahead and leave all your comments down below so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already of course guys subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the little notification button so you'll know when I have new videos out leave all of your comments down guys below give this video a thumbs up and go over and watch my last video